Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my New York style crumb cake recipe. So we're going to start out by making the streusel with one cup of dark brown sugar, one half cup of granulated sugar, one tablespoon of cinnamon, a half teaspoon of salt, and two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And we are just going to mix all of those ingredients together and then we are going to drizzle one cup of melted butter over the top and you want to be sure to be very careful when mixing this not to over mix it you'll see that it becomes a thick paste if you over mix it you want to be sure to uh, make sure that there are still large crumbs and so I like to use a fork and I sort of just scoop down from the bottom just to make sure that all the flour is incorporated and then just set that aside so now we will start making the cake with three quarters of a cup of butter and we are just going to cream this until light and fluffy with one cup of granulated sugar and the cake itself actually does not have that much sugar in it most of the sweetness comes from the streusel topping of the cake so once that is creamed together well we are going to add in three eggs along with one cup of sour cream. Now sour cream is actually one of the fattiest dairy products and this will help the cake to be extremely moist as the shortening of the gluten strands that the sour cream contributes to makes the any baked good very tender. And then we're also going to add in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. We're just going to mix that together. And then we're going to add in our dry ingredients. Two and a half cups of flour. One teaspoon of baking soda. A half teaspoon of baking powder. And a half teaspoon of salt. And once again, a theme in this recipe is not to overmix anything. You want to just mix the cake batter until it just comes together. And it should be very thick and also kind of sticky. So now we are going to prepare our pan. I'm using a ceramic pan. Um, it's 9 inches by 13 inches. And I'm just going to butter that very well to make sure that the cake will not stick in there. And then I'm going to evenly spread the batter along the base of my baking dish. And once it is evenly spread, we are going to press the streusel topping into the cake, making sure that it will stick when it is baked. So crumb cake actually originated from Central Europe, most likely Germany, as a flat cake covered with a sweet crumb topping referred to as streusel, as I've called it, meaning something scattered. But upon arriving in America, it was dubbed crumb cake. And then we're just going to bake this at 350 degrees for about 60 minutes. I would recommend checking it at about 45, just to make sure it's not burning. And if you see that the streusel is getting quite dark, you can cover it up with tin foil to make sure that your cake can continue to bake without over baking and burning your streusel. So now for a finishing touch, I just decided to use some powdered sugar to give it a nice polished look. It definitely has plenty of sugar in it on its own and this is not at all necessary. I just like how it looks. And there you have it. This recipe is pretty simple, but it is definitely satisfying. And the balance of cinnamon in the streusel goes very well with the moist cake. Thank you so much for watching. As always, the recipe will be in the description below, as well as on my website, bakingwithbrie.com. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and leave any suggestions in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!